Hello and welcome to this new video on ASP.NET. Today we will talk about regular expression validator control. If you watched the previous video, we have created a, uh, a, a video on required field validator. Uh, let's run that application first. In this application, we used required field validator control to validate the name and email address field. Let's run this application. Click on send button. There we go. Required field validator control is used for validating uh, different controls. For example, in this in this application, we use it for uh, validating the entries for name and email address. Uh, as you can see that if you don't enter any value in the name field or in the email field then it will show these error message to us. Now enter some values in these two fields or text boxes for example John or John at yahoo.com There we go. It's validate now and it shows that we have entered the required values. If you notice, we have right here john at yahoo.com and it will validate it as a, in a correct format. But if we, we delete this part of it from this text box, it will still validate it and validate it correctly but the problem with this is that it is not the correct format for email address. Now to solve this problem we will use regular expression validator control. We will use this previous application and add regular expression validator control to it and give it a proper name. In this case, it will be email as it is said to associated with the email field. Now, select the control you want to validate, which is email text box, and show the error message email is not in correct format. For example, abc at xyz.com and the last property to set is validation expression and select internet email address and click OK. Now run the application again. Into the value John John show us the error message that email is not in the correct format. The format should be abc at xyz.com. Now just add yahoo.com to it. And click on send button. There we go. As you can see, required field validator control will ask for entries in these two fields and the exp regular expression validator control will ask for the correct format for email address. With this I conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.